who is excited for some summer decor and decorating i am so excited i cannot wait you guys know i love to change up our decor for the seasons for summer i don't go crazy but i definitely love to kind of pull out all of our lemon decor i like to incorporate some more blues and white but i love to just kind of bring some life into our home add some fun pops of color and kind of just brighten things up around here and i actually have picked up a few new things for this year so before we get to decorating i thought i would give you guys a little haul of what i have gotten so you maybe can tell the shelf behind me is already empty i have already started like taking things down and just kind of given us a blank canvas to work with we also got a new rug so i'm so excited to show that to you guys but at Hobby Lobby, I went in and just kind of was looking for some new fun greenery for summer and I found three little things that I just love. So the first one is this like whimsical little pick. This one was $7.99 and of course 50% off, but I just love how fun and like Whimsical is the only word I can think of, but it's kind of like all over the place and just will be perfect to put into like a little vase. And then this one actually might be my favorite because I love the pops of yellow on there and kind of like that muted green. And of course, with all of my lemon decor, the yellow is gonna look so cute. I already have an idea of where I want to put this. This one was also $7.99 and then 50% off. And then the last stem of greenery that I got, this one is quite a bit larger. It was $16.99 and then 50% off. And this one also I love because it is so whimsical and kind of wispy. And what really drew me to it, I don't know if you guys can tell, but on the very ends of these stems, there are these little teeny tiny like pink flowers or buds on there um, and it's very muted and subtle so you almost wouldn't be able to tell but it's there. there's a little bit of color to it I just thought this was so beautiful and because it's bigger it will make a great like centerpiece or focal point okay so now on to my two last things and this is what I found at Kirkland's this past weekend and I love it and it got me so excited it like inspired me to go ahead and decorate for summer because I just thought these things were so precious so first thing is this cute, cute picture. It says squeeze the day. It has this beautiful lemon and it's kind of like textured, which I really like. And then the color of the wood in this frame I thought was so pretty. And I got this, I think it was like 25 percent off. So it was a really good deal. But I just thought this picture was so, I don't know the word, like I know a picture can't be like cozy necessarily, but it just gave me this like wonderful feeling of being like in a farmhouse kitchen in the summertime with like fresh squeezed lemonade. I don't know, that's what it reminded me of. So I'm so excited that I found this picture. Okay, and last thing, I don't even know if y'all will be able to see this, but I found these beautiful jars at Kirkland's on clearance. I could not believe it, they're so pretty. So hopefully you guys can see this picture, but they are like this beautiful blue and white plaid. Let me just take it out of the box so I can show you better. Okay, much better. So it is a set of three canisters and they're like this blue and white plaid ceramic. They're all different sizes. And I just thought these were so, so beautiful. I cannot wait to decorate with them. So anyway, that is all of my new things, I think. It's actually kind of getting late in the day right now. So I'm just gonna kind of organize everything, keep cleaning so we have a blank canvas. I'll pick back up tomorrow and we will do all of the decorating and I'm so excited. So before we jump into all of this decorating, I do wanna take a moment and thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Y'all just wait till you see this Tuscan garlic butter chicken. It was mouthwatering delicious. HelloFresh makes cooking at home fun, easy, and affordable. They are America's number one meal kit and have more five-star recipes than any other meal kit, so you always know you're going to get something delicious. And they also offer so many recipes to choose from each week, and that way it helps you break out of your recipe rut. We've been getting HelloFresh for quite a while now, and every single time my box comes, I still get so excited to see what new recipes are going to be in there. Did you know the average trip to the grocery store takes 41 minutes? But with HelloFresh, you can skip those trips and get everything you need to make chef curated meals delivered straight to your door. So talk about a time saver. 
Okay, I have to know, have y'all ever tried sauteed kale? Because I never had, and let me just tell you, it was incredible. It is definitely going to be like a new favorite side dish for us, and that is just one more reason I love HelloFresh. I'm always like trying something new, whether cooking technique or eating something new. With HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients, that means there's less prep and less wasted food, and you can easily change your delivery days or food preferences and skip a week whenever you need to. They are totally flexible to fit your lifestyle. This recipe was so delicious. I hope you get this one in your next box. And if you want to try HelloFresh, then go to HelloFresh.com and use code Jessica012 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. And that's Jessica012 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping at HelloFresh.com. Okay, so it is the next day and we are going to get to decorating, but I have to tell y'all the amazing deal that I scored this morning. Um, last night, whenever I was cleaning the kitchen, I was kind of trying to like think about how I wanted to decorate and I had this idea for something. Anyway, I was looking for like a specific tea towel or like kitchen towel. So I went to Target this morning. They did not have one. I went to TJ Maxx and I could not find one there either. And then I went to Kirkland's and I could not find one, but when Whenever I walked in, I saw this picture and I was like, oh my goodness, it is so, so beautiful. And I was like, that would look so good with our summer decor, but I was like, it's probably expensive. So I went over and looked and it was on clearance and I was like, no way. But it had a couple little dings in it and because it was on clearance, I knew that I wouldn't be able to like return it if it didn't work out. So I was still like very hesitant and I kept walking around the store and I just kept thinking about it. And um, finally I went and asked the lady who was working there, like for sure if their return policy was you cannot return clearance stuff. And she was like, yes, that is our return policy, but all of that stuff is an additional 30% off today. And I was like, what? <laughs> so she's like, even if you can't use it, a, find somewhere in your house that you can, or B, you can sell it. And I was like, okay, you're right. So I got that picture for 20 bucks. It is so stinking cute. And I got it home and it is the perfect size. Y'all, I love it. Let me show it to you. So it says farmer's market. It has this cute little bicycle that is blue. So it's the perfect color to match all of my decor. It's also kind of textured, just like my lemon picture that I picked up from there. And I think we're gonna take down the clock and then put this there y'all i feel like it's just going to give our kitchen a whole new little facelift and then just a few more things that i wanted to show y'all really fast ignore the dishes in the sink but you guys know that lamp used to be right here and last night whenever i was thinking about everything i thought you know underneath our cabinets at night time it would give such a like cozier feel and I kind of love the way it looks underneath there. So of course I need to hide the cord, but I did go ahead and move our Nespresso machine. So this entire space is open and y'all, I love that it's open. It feels so nice to have all of that counter space. And then this tiered tray, which normally sits right here, I just moved to the island. I can't decide if I'm going to put it here or not. So we'll play with it and see. And then over here is our Nespresso machine. And then I just moved our coffee pods over here as well.
I have been playing with this shelf and I just don't love it. <laughs> I've tried so many things up here and rearranged it so many times, but there's just like something about this I don't love. I do like that there's greenery. I like the pops of blue. I like the wood element in there. I like that there is lighting because I feel like candles really set the mood and make it feel very cozy, but cohesively, I'm not sure if this actually looks good. So I may keep playing with this as well. And then I also changed out the wreath that was up here to the lemon wreath. And I believe the kitchen is coming together. I'm loving it. So I went upstairs and I was looking in our closet that I keep some decor in there. And I was like, oh my goodness, I totally forgot about these pictures. So I have this one and I think this is gonna look so much better up on that shelf. So I'm gonna add this. And then I have these two as well. I don't know if I'll use them maybe like in our sunroom but this is perfect and then i actually switched over like this floral pick to put in here and i like it better because it's a lot bigger um the one that was in here i put up there to see if i would like it and although it's better than what it was it's kind of like too much for up there so i'm gonna rearrange this again So now we're gonna get started here in the living room. Here's kind of a little overview. We did just get this new rug and y'all, I am obsessed. I love it. It definitely kind of brought this entire room together and just gave it more of like a finished look. And this rug is so soft. Um, and it has like a little bit of black, like a very deep, almost like charcoal gray. And then almost this like not gold, but not brown, somewhere in between. But I love it and I feel like it ties in the gold, the gray, all the colors that we have going on in here. This mirror is what Bunky is going to hang here as long as there's a stud. It's very, very heavy, so we'll have to see if we can actually hang it. But in this room, I really keep it very like neutral and just use kind of pops of greenery. So I definitely wanna keep that vibe in here but switch it up a little bit. I kind of have all of my stuff that I'm gonna work with over here. And then I did take mostly everything off of the credenza minus that little lantern. So we kind of have a clean surface there to work with. And then I may or may not change up our little centerpiece right here. So. I am absolutely dead. When he came down here, he said, I don't like the yellow picture over here. I was like, well, I really don't either, but there's really nowhere else to put it. And he said, don't look for 60 seconds. Let me do my magic. <laughs> Looks good, doesn't it? Bunky, I actually like it so much better. No, 
I'm not sure about these salt and pepper here, but uh. I didn't really have time to put those either, so it's fine. This actually looks so much better. Thank you. Why don't you just do all the decorating? No, I just, you know, I had an eye for it over here. <laughs> V, I love this so much better. Honestly, it feels like way cuter. And I like that this is like just by itself. It, it's less like cluttered. Perfect. Wow, impressive. This is very impressive. Now will you please hang my picture? That's what I actually came down here to do. Thank you. Yeah. Let's just see if these hangers are, you know, together. Uh huh. So that we don't be judging me. <laughs> because people such as you often are like, it's crooked. But that's assuming that they have mounted these things perfectly even. Uh huh. I, I am going to be honest here. I don't know that you've ever hung something not crooked. Let's just say. From the top here to the top of that. That is eight and one eighth inches. Bobby to the lobby. What's the see that that there you go, people. That's the problem. How far off? I don't know. Is it really off funky? Yeah, the other one was right there where my nail is. Uh huh. Look how far down that one is. It's almost eight and a half. I don't know if that really matters. I mean, I guess it feels a straight line. Right. Should it matter? I don't know. Let's just put some nails in the wall. Okay. Oh my God, that doesn't even look like they're across from each other. Oh, wait. Is it on there? Well, it's on there. I just, is it straight? <laughs> That's pretty it's good. It's straight. Hey, look at that. Bonnie, you, you hung something straight. High five. Gotcha. <laughs> High five. <laughs> Thank you. Looks so, so cute. Okay, I have had the best time decorating. I love how everything turned out. I am still dying laughing that Bunky came down here and rearranged the kitchen and I like it so much better his way. So I'm definitely leaving it like that. I love our new picture, our living room, our rug in there. It all just looks so beautiful and so cozy and I'm just so happy with the way it all turned out. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope this gave you some decorating inspiration. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new. Give this one a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.